The Duke Lemur Center was founded in 1966. We have the largest and most diverse population of lemurs in the world outside their native Madagascar, um, which is wonderful because lemurs are the most endangered mammals on Earth. The Duke Lemur Center houses over 200 individual lemurs across 15 different species, many of them free range and 80 acres of naturally forested enclosure. Uh, we do a lot of research here. All of it is non-invasive. A lot of it is uh, observational, behavioral, learning everything that we can about what factors most affect the health of lemurs, their social dynamics, and their reproduction, so that then we can take all of, that, all of that information and apply it to our conservation work in Madagascar. Lemurs are the most endangered mammals on Earth, so we do a lot of conservation work on the ground in Madagascar, which is the only place in the world where they're found in the wild. Um, we also do, he said, a lot of non-invasive research, learning everything we can about lemurs so we can protect them better. And we also have a really vibrant education program. So we welcome about 32,000 people a year on tours. Since we were founded in 1966, the Duke Lemur Center has welcomed about 3,300 infants um, through a conservation breeding program, which forms a genetic safety net for these species. So should the worst happen, if some of these species were to go totally extinct in the wild, we do have that safety net population here at the Duke Lemur Center and other accredited institutions around the world um, that preserves the possibility of one day uh, reintroducing these animals into their native habitat. So the Duke Lemur Center has about 10 different types of tours. We are open to the public, but you do need to make a reservation first. Like I said, we are first and foremost a research center, so you do need to be with a guide um, if you want to see the lemurs. So go ahead and visit our website at lemur.duke.edu. You can learn all about our tours and how to make reservations. Different species can't be fed together at the same time because they'll steal each other's food. So some are fed in there, um, and some are fed out in the feeding plate here. Very limited um, in what they can eat because their digestive tract is so long, it can take days for food to go through. So if they eat fruit or something, they can actually ferment in their digestive tract before they... Oh, she's Scent marking here. Good lemur behavior. <laughs> so she's she owns this twig. Hold that out of her way. So he's gonna mark that same twig that she just marked. So he's got scent glands in his wrist. So he's uh -oh. marking. So he's actually gouging with kind of a, it's almost like a claw or something. Gouging and then depositing scent. Hey, Matt.